This is where passion meets positivity and optimism. In a world where bad news abounds, You Are Solid Gold with Michelle Lau celebrates the good in our lives and the beauty in the hidden gems around us. Welcome to You Are Solid Gold. Here she is, international television host and QVC jewelry expert, Michelle Lau. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to You Are Solid Gold. I'm your host, Michelle Lau. This is a show where we explore golden people in my life, people that I've come across, places, things that I just absolutely love and can't wait to share with you. Well, Ian Gardner has been a special little treasure, a friend of mine for about 10 years now, and I've sort of kept him a secret because I wanted to keep him all to myself, <laughs> but I want to share because many of you have asked me about the introduction to my show, about the exit to my show, and who, who is the face behind that handsome voice? Well, he's here in the studio. He has worked on radio in the United Kingdom. He has worked on television in the UK. Then he came across the pond and he worked here in shopping television and most recently at Shop HQ before launching his business. So today we're going to talk about starting and setting up your business from home and your home environment. So welcome, Ian. It's great to see and hear you. Thank you. It's uh, it's great to be here and uh, and great to chat with you. It's been uh, it's been ages since we've met in person, but it's it's great to be able to to talk virtually. And you look just absolutely fabulous. Life is treating you very well, obviously. So tell me what's happening with you. You're up in Minneapolis, from what I understand, and doing work all over the country and actually am, all over the yes. world. All over the world, actually. Yes, um, I'm in Minneapolis. I've lived here since uh, 2011. Uh, but in, in 2014, I, I built my own home studio. Um, and wow, that's impressive. Guys, booth. did you hear what he said? He set up a studio. For anybody that's been at home thinking, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll just set up a home studio. It's a lot of work, right? Most people oh. abandon it. Ian, though, he knows exactly what to do. So space. Space has got to be the first thing you consider, right, Ian? It, it is. It's the environment that you're going to be in because so many people have been forced to work from home in the last 12 months. So the first thing you've got to consider is find yourself a suitable space. If you have the opportunity to set up an office in a separate room or a separate area, that's great. Not everybody has that opportunity. Uh, there are plenty of people that have set up a little home office in their bedroom, which is fine. But I think space is the most one of the most important things to consider because, after all, it, it is your your working part of your life. You need to make sure that you're comfortable. You also need to make sure that you're getting uh, the the best out of the environment that you're in. So, well, like in your case, you actually built a professional recording studio in your home. I mean, not everybody has the space or the, the financial means to be able to do that. So I give you a ton of credit, but you know, I've heard of people that have gotten really creative. Like I like to think I was a trendsetter years ago. I built a clothis. I built my office directly into, into a closet. And I coined that term, by the way, like 15 years ago. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. But now I saw a magazine article the other day. People are talking about decorating your clothis. So think about that. You could take the doors off, take the pole down, maybe build something in. And then another friend of mine got really creative and bought one of those little cute little barns that they sell and turned oh, that into yeah. her, her art studio because she couldn't get things done the way that she would have liked to without having her space outside of her home. So I thought that was really clever. Yeah. And also, don't forget, it doesn't have to be physically inside yeah. your home. It could be in your yes. garage. It could be out in the backyard. If you've got maybe um, a kind of a, a little building, a little shed or an example that you can convert, that is absolutely perfect. It's nice, actually, to even though it's going to be 30 feet that you're walking, it's nice to actually physically go from your home space to your office space at home. Absolutely. I love it and hate it at the same time. And I know yeah. we're going to get into that a little bit later. We're going to give you five really solid tips. Again, the first one is space and you can do this. You just have to think creatively, look around everybody that's doing schoolwork or working out of the house. They all need their own dedicated space. I think we've outgrown the kitchen tables for the most part. We just want a little, you know, a little privacy for ourselves. And I think that's absolutely fine. But, you know, if, um, 
if I'm on a lot of Zoom calls, like let's say that you're just working part-time from home and you're having to do a lot of things remotely like what we are today, I think it's really important that we get the look of our space to reflect our personality and the feel too, so that we feel good in that space. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the look is really important. Um, and it, you know, take a lot of time to, to, to personalize your space as well. If you can kind of declutter it, uh, that is such an advantage as well. Maybe put some some personal photographs around the area as well. That's great. Um, but always try and make sure that you've got a, a, a separate area and a separate space so you can actually uh, differentiate between your home life and your working life. So, you know, yeah. it sounds like a little thing, doesn't it? Ian, but oh, it's yeah. so important for your mental health. I mean, you have to physically feel like you're going to work. Can I share with you a little trick that I that I have for sure. com commuting at home? It's what I like to call it. When I get up in the morning, <laughs> when I get up in the morning, after I have my morning coffee and I check out the newspaper to make sure that all is relatively well in the world, I physically take the dog out and I walk the neighborhood. That's my commute. So I sit there and I think to myself, I'm commuting to work, right? <laughs> and that way, when I come in, I directly go up to the office, close the door, and I feel like I'm at work. And I do the same thing over the lunchtime and I do the same thing at the end of the day. So that's Michelle's little tip thrown in there for good measure. That, that's great. Um, uh, but it's all about routine, isn't it? It's trying yes. to get yourself into a routine. Uh, yes. which is great. I mean, my routine is, is, and this is probably because I'm originally British, um, I love tea in the morning. I mean, I have to have two cups of tea before <laughs> I do anything. Um, so that is my routine. But if I, I do try and be in, uh, this is my vocal booth, as you can see, but in the certainly in the, in the office uh, at a set time each morning. Um, so you can get yourself into a into a working environment because you're right you, you are saving on the commute time um and and this is great and this is one of the advantages is is not being stuck in traffic if you're trying to get to work um but it's important to have that routine and important to make sure you try and do roughly the same thing at the same time every day yeah, now I find myself, and, and I know you know this because I've texted you or called you at odd times of the day and night, <laughs> I, I tend to really get in a groove and then I'm up all night long working on something. I really, I need to work on this personally. And I think we all should collectively, again, I think mental health is such an important thing. We're surrounding ourselves with things that we love to make ourselves comfortable, beautiful colors that make us relaxed. We're getting into a good routine. We also have to worry about eating and sleeping on regular schedules as well. It's oh, a yeah. lot what we're going through, right? And so these sound like little things, but they're not. They're really great tipsy. And thank you so much for sharing. Now, creating routine is, is one thing, getting the situation right, whether it's the lighting on the Zoom Call or whatever it is that makes you feel better about the situation. Um, I still love working from the house because, you know, basically what we're doing is we're living just above the keyboard, but there are some negative things too. So this is a positive podcast, but let's talk about the pros and the cons of working at home. Yeah. I mean, there are some cons and one of the most, uh, one of the biggest cons is that you're not interacting with people. And I think a, a lot of people have found this in talking to people, um, it, it's interesting their take on it. You're not bumping into people as you would at the office. You know, you're in the office and you can walk down the corridor and you could say, hey, um, can I just ask you very quickly about so-and-so? And they go, yeah, no problem. And I'll, they can help you out. What do we do now? We have to set up a meeting and a conference and a Zoom call and <laughs> we do it next week and then that person isn't available. So we have to do it another week. And it it it, it really takes it away from the spontaneity of, of bumping into friendship. somebody and friendship and talking to someone. And that's, I think, what we miss when we're working yeah. from home. Do you know what I've done? And I don't know if you have a little a tip or two, but what I've done, is, and you are an example of this, is people that I've loved through my life and I've missed, or I'm wondering really how they are, I'm making it a point to at least once a day, call somebody or connect with somebody that I haven't seen in a really long time that really was meaningful to me. And um, so I'm trying to turn this pandemic isolation, which we do have when we work at home, which could be a negative. I'm trying to turn it into a positive like that. And it's really enriched my life this whole last year in that way. So that's just my personal thing. How do you um, stay in touch, Ian? How do you, uh, I know you've got a family there. You've got, you know, your beautiful little girl. How do you, how do you do that? How do you balance it all? 
Uh, yeah, it's tough. Um, and, you know, I've got a six year old and she's fabulous, but it's it, when you get when you want to work, um, it's not so easy if you've got a six year old who doesn't really understand exactly what's going on and the importance of being quiet when you're trying to record a voiceover. Um, so, yeah, it is a balance. And that is the different. That's another con of, of being at home. Uh, you've got the, your family that you interact with all the time and all of those family things when you're in the office you're away from it all and you can maybe focus a little bit so I would say try and get into a routine if you can try and isolate yourself try and devote a certain amount of time to work time and then when you're done well you're only a few steps away from relaxing with your family and having a cup of coffee you've got your evening commute you haven't got that evening commute home <laughs> I mean, the number of times I, I'm in Minneapolis and I can remember going to the office or as it was the, the TV studio at four in the morning um, in a Minneapolis winter, which was a snowstorm. I grew up and there. I know. You just think, yeah. wow, this is tough. And then once you've done your job, you've got to get back home again as well. So that that's one of the advantages of working from home. And I think a lot of people have discovered that in the last year during the pandemic, they've discovered, hey, I can actually do what I do in the office at home without all of the commutes and without all of the, the stress involved in driving. Yeah, and that's a bonus, so thank you. We now have, a, we're now into the bonus part of our, of our broadcast here today. But no, it really is. I mean, that is really a lovely, lovely problem to have, you know, to be able to spend more time with your family, to have time to maybe do some meditation in the morning, to maybe do, um, you know, some yoga to the television set before you take the dog for a walk and get to work. You know, mm -hmm. there are some real benefits of it. And I think a lot of people out there, um, Ian, that are watching us today, they're thinking, yeah, I'm not going back to that job where I'm sitting in that cuticle cubicle anymore and so you and I down the line maybe we can talk about that you know how do you negotiate a position like that where you can work part-time here and part-time there you know now that we're old pros at working out of the house but I just really appreciate you I appreciate you taking this time you've given us some really solid tips on how to set up our space and how to really um, enjoy the whole experience of working from home. So, and a bonus. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> if you guys love his voice the way that I love his voice, he's he's literally the best voice talent I've ever worked with. He's fantastic, except for me, of course. But as far as guys go, <laughs> Ian's a man. If you wanna reach him uh, for a project, you can. Ian, uh, do you recommend they do it through your website? Uh, website is probably the best. Yeah, it's okay. uh, www.iangardner.com. And I'll put it in the notes too for you guys so you can find him. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Hey, you're welcome. Will you come it back? Is, I will definitely come back. It's great to chat and uh, really enjoyed it. Thank you. You want to wave to your UK family? Uh, I will do. Hi to the, all the, 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 the team, <laughs> team UK. Of course, we haven't been able to travel, but uh, so there's been a lot of talking over over video screens in the last 12 months. But uh, yeah. hopefully very soon that will be behind us. Well, you are solid gold and I appreciate your time. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on You Are Solid Gold. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Would you please subscribe like and share this episode. If you know of a person, place or thing that is a hidden gem that we should feature on Solid Gold with Michelle Lau, please submit it for consideration at hello at youarsolidgold.com. Now, get out there and shine.